my New Year's resolution. Res what would be something that I'm not doing now that I could be doing that will make me happy? To me, that is the crux of a New Year's resolution. What have I got on my mind that I want to do that I'm not doing that I think will make me happy? I know it will make me happy. The thing I want to do is to be out and about, to have a companion in the form of a little sketchbook that will enable me to make visual notes by way of drawing with just ink, with just an ink pen or pencil. I don't want to do lots of writing in it, short note notation, and I want it to become a habit. I want it to be something that just naturally is with me. I've shown you since YouTubing my Canson A4 sketchbook. Canson is heavy, Canson is big and quite weighty. I don't want to travel with Canson, so I found in Paper Chase this pliable, more portable sketchbook, but I don't take it out and about with me. I've got Concertina. It's it's wayward. It's a little bit wayward. In order to make this little dream come true, I need to find a sketchbook that I'm comfortable with, that's not too heavy, it's not too big, something firm. It needs to have a hard cover. I went on a search. At the moment, the best thing that I've found is a C white A5. Fixed paper sketchbook. I like the paper, it's not heavy. It's really not heavy. Um, oh, it's okay. I've got my phone, I can take a photo. Oh, there won't be time for me to stop and do a bit of drawing. Oh, there's no room in my bag. I'll take it and I won't use it. This is going to be fun. This is lightweight. I've said I'm going to do it, so I'm going to do it. I've said I'm going to take it with me, so I am going to take it with me. I will find time to make a small sketch. I can see myself doing it. So consequently now, I'm really excited to get started. Luckily, I have a trip coming up and it will be the perfect occasion to really put this to the test. I'm beginning, I'm a beginner. This is going to be my first attempt. If I can fill this book, I will be so happy. I'm going to call it Buddy. It's going to be my out and about buddy, my book buddy. As a little start, I thought I'd get out my, I've got two boxes, I've actually, I've actually got three boxes of stampers, of letter stamps. Um, I have an assortment of ink pads. I've messed my green up with black, but I thought it might be nice to put some stamps down. I think I'm just going to say,
This is the random placement of some bits of collage. Not, not really thinking. I just want to see what happens if I just put some things down and draw over. These are just the bus tickets. So there's not much variety, I've torn them. Probably the last bit of drawing that we're going to get down in the deep before we go home. From the first page, <laughs> I tried to pencil the cabin on the aircraft coming out. I'm not brilliant at perspective, and if I'm honest, the pencil, um, I bought a soft pencil, 
and it, I was filthy. I was absolutely covered in pencil and I didn't enjoy it very much at all. I've worked a little bit more in here and I've actually said in there, attention is a form of connection and connecting with this little sketchbook has been tremendous. The first real piece of joy is found in drawing the tree. This is a cheat because I forgot to stop and get Buddy Wook out and so a little bit from memory and a little bit from the photograph and it made me realise how much more fun it is to draw, to draw live. Um, so really good fun with the trees. This again, um, I got the bones of it down really, really quickly. I was waiting for Craig and I had just a couple of minutes and there were people around and I just thought, I'll go for it, I'll just do it. And then we had to go back to the spot. It's not finished because there's quite a bit of detail that needs to go on to this that I didn't have time for. So I have photographed it and I'll, I can work in a bit more on that page. This one, okay, I enjoyed it. Again, trying to get the correct proportion of the chair. <laughs> I tried once, that was the one attempt. And except that a bit of creative success requires a bit of creative failure. So every time I have a little fail, I go back to something that is a spark of joy and that's put in some stones from the beach, some shells from the beach. There were too many people in the Picasso Museum uh, to draw one of Picasso's bird sculptures. It was a great setup. He's got this bird and at either side there are cats, two, two plaster cats. But I employed a bit of collage around the bird. And then afterwards I thought I should have actually just used my bus tickets and train tickets, plastered the page and then put in. So that's a note for next time. That was my first go at some kind of seascape here. Very tricky because it's just constantly moving. Back to a tree. The spent bloom that we picked up. Shells. A little boat first thing this morning and ending on some exotic plants. I've enjoyed collecting up. I've always enjoyed collecting things, foraging, finding things. And these little shells have been fantastic. You can just scoop up some seawater. And I've been using them when I've come back um, as a little receptacle for the little brush um, to move the ink and Thank heavens, I bought, this is the little case, and I've got a couple of, my favourite writing pens are these Uniball I Fine. They're permanent, so I can't get them to shift, but I like them to write with, so I always have a couple of those. Ink pen, I hadn't anticipated how much I'd use the Lamy ink pen, and there's a reason I haven't quite a huge collection of ink pens. Um, rubber for the pencil. So my pencil was a 6B, so it's very soft. So it would be messy, but I'd just forgotten how messy and how frustrating that is under pencil sharpener. The Caran d'Ache, this is a soft Caran d'Ache watercolor pencil, has been superb. So I need to dig out my Caran d'Ache. There's another, there's, there are more somewhere in the cabin. And today we went down and collected up. Um, these were so inexpensive in the local paper shop and Craig cut off the end so that it fits into my little case. So a great, um, enough. It's enough in that little zippy case for taking out and about.
doing the out and about, go for it. Oh, Gibraltar, Gibraltar, Gibraltar is somewhere behind me. Um, where are you, Gibraltar? I don't know. I don't 